Well, if you've ever seen a production at American Players Theater in Spring Green, chances are you have seen our next guest. James DeVita is a core company member and literary manager at APT. He's also written two children's books, but now he's debuting as a crime novelist. A Winsome Murder is the title, and it's getting high literary praise. And James DeVita joins us now to tell us more about it. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me on today. So why move into this to an adult murder mystery? Well, it's funny, I've got two other novels published. Most of my work has been with children's literature. And uh, uh, to be quite honest, uh, my books went out of print and I was getting a little frustrated. And uh, I wanted to do something completely different, a different genre. And um, I had this idea of a mystery, but I never, had never written a mystery. So the idea for the book came, this is like the 22nd pitch. Is, <laughs> so uh, a frustrated and unsuccessful children's book writer decides to write a crime novel. Um, she wants to write something salacious and uh, with the hope that it might sell. So she abandons liter uh, children's literature to write a crime novel. And then, of course, she gets uh, in her investigative journalism. She gets a little more involved in the, in the case than she wants. And that's where the complications happen. So it was fun using some of my own, you know, you know write what yeah. you know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Write, 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 write what you know. know. Well, I was going to say, a winsome murder. Winsome has a couple of meanings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so, and winsome, winsome is a, a fictional town that I made up in, uh, in, uh, in Wisconsin. So the, the, the story is uh, mostly in Wisconsin. Uh, Chicago from de uh, Detective Chicago does come in when one of the one of the victims' bodies is discovered across state lines, which is all I can say. <laughs> um, but most of it is uh, around Wisconsin, which is fun because I get to use a lot of local geography and people from around here know it, and it's, that's that's always fun. I've done that with all my books too. Mm -hmm. So you've been at APT now for. 20, yeah. 21 years. Twenty-one now. years. <laughs> how, how do you go from performing classics and and comedies and to this? Well, it's funny. I first started. I've been writing for over to. Uh, over 30 years now. Uh, I first started writing in Milwaukee for uh, uh, Milwaukee First Stage, over First Stage Children's Theater in Milwaukee. Gave me my first kind of break as a writer. Uh, so I've got about 15 plays written for young audiences. Then I moved into middle grade fiction and then, um, then young adult fiction. And now I'm taking my little group of readers <laughs> with me. So we're all growing up together. And so you've been writing for a long time. Yeah, I have. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I support my writing by being an actor. There's irony of ironies <laughs> right sure. there. So. But I'm very fortunate because in the theater community, our day usually starts at noon. So I can get a good day of writing. I get up early and write before the day starts. So I'm very fortunate that oh. my work day starts later. Our work day starts later, too, but I just get up at <laughs> 1. <laughs> What's more fun, acting or writing? Oh, I, I love them both. You know, I wish I had more time to write because, um, um, like I say, I have to do sometimes two other jobs to support myself to, uh, um, to write. Um, but they're very similar, too, I find them. You know, I find rehearsals very much like rough first drafts and you know and then you hone it and you get better and I make a lot of mistakes at first like I make a lot of mistakes in rehearsals as an actress it's very very similar um, well, continued, continued success Thank at you. the yeah. theater and with this new book James great to see you Thank today. you very much Thank thanks you. for having me and on. James has a book signing tomorrow at Mystery to Me bookstore that's on Monroe Street tomorrow night at 7 p.m. come out and meet him and talk to James and get your book signed thanks okay. again for being here Thank you Thank you very much